So similar to what I did with the BP-50, I wanted to improve upon my versatility build here for the BAL-27. And let's just say this thing has virtually no recoil with very crazy movement. The only thing that's not as good as my previous build is probably the aim down sight speed, but it is an assault rifle after all. It's still pretty fast in the aim down sight speed category. Don't get that twisted. It's just not like SMG fast. It's got no recoil. We got good mobility good damage range not much more you could ask for this is the setup i featured in my top five weapons video and i still stand by that one of the best weapons in the entire game as always we're starting with a stock here with the ardent tax sock that's going to give you gun kick control a large amount of it at that fire aiming stability and recoil control a rather important attachment when it comes to giving this weapon little to no recoil simply because of that 29 percent to the gun kick that's a massive stat there along with seven percent to the horizontal and vertical recoil control that fire aiming stability is also no slouch and that's exactly why when you guys looked at it in the firing range it's got no shake attachments just like this one for our rear grip we have the channel m grip this is the four recoil control and gun kick control previously i was going with the hammer grip here but it sacrificed a lot towards the aim or towards the recoil control whereas this time i'm targeting recoil control it's going to give you 10 percent across the board for our under barrel here is the dr6 hand stop to speed up the mobility of the weapon in order to make it more versatile so aim down sight speed aim walking speed sprint to fire speed along with overall movement speed so when I hide my camera here, you guys can get a good look at what we're gaining. The big one here is going to be the ADS at 8% and 7% to the sprint to fire, but the other statistics are also no slouch. It's definitely going to help you with aggressive play. So there are plenty of muzzles here that you can run, but for my particular build, I'm going with pure fire muzzle break. It is going to sacrifice damage range, but we're not sacrificing any aim down sight speed, which is important when it comes down to a versatile build. At the end of the day, you could technically go with the Casus break here if you don't care about sacrificing the aim down sight. See, they more or less do the same exact thing with different cons. But I personally like the pure fire muzzle break. We got 10% sacrifice there towards your damage range. But as you can see, we're still at a 40 meter damage range even after the loss. So I find that this is more beneficial. As always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys need to pause the video and copy them down, I want you guys to go down in the comment section. Let me know what you're more of a fan of. So in my opinion, the two most versatile weapons in this game are the BAL-27 and the BP-50. Which one are you guys a bigger fan of? Go down in the comment section and let me know. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys felt the need to copy this one down, we're going to jump into a gameplay to feature this one. And let's just say it's a good one. It always is a good one, but this one's a good one. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Hope you guys enjoy. You know, it's kind of funny. I was just talking about how I never run into Tokyo in this game. And then here we are. I actually end up getting the map, which I'm pumped about. I'm still not even super familiar with. I've played this map maybe four times in total. I know that this map is super chaotic and that really pumps me up because both the maps are pretty similar this season in the sense that the size like they're all like medium i would say would you guys agree with that Me these are like what you would consider to be medium sized maps they're not super small not super big i'm kind of frying at the moment team's getting torched on obj time though so i can't hang out too long I am going to have to push up here. They do have a counter, which is really not good. I'm going to just slow, slow down here for a second. Because I can't... I'm going to just drop this right in middle. Because the counter UAV is putting me in a situation. I think I saw one in the window right here. I didn't. We're going to turn around and we're going to go. Until this, I can get rid of this counter UAV. Because I want to hit... There it is. Now I can hit my advanced UAV. Because I'm kind of in it. You know what I mean? My team's getting torched on OBJ, so I got to pay attention to that. That's a sniper. I'm not taking that. I'm going to hit this way. Ooh, looks like they got a guy here. I need to lock down this DNA bomb and then I need to push. I got another VTOL to already call in. 
Nice air. Target mark. Need recon overhead. Hardpoint relocated. Secure the target area. There's our DNA bomb, so we are chilling. Now it's time to win the game here. Requesting recon flyover. Okay, they should spawn behind me over here. Theory, I should just be able to watch this way. Nope, I'm gonna get pinched. They're shooting my stuff down, but if I push, I know how this works. I am actually frying, dude. For a map I rarely have played so far, I, it has that flow that you can just get used to, you know what I mean? So let's get a reload in here. I have this striker just in case because I do see me running out of ammo pretty quickly. I'm going to hold this VTOL, I think. It's a guy for sure. Never mind, I'm not holding it. I'm going to call this in. Maybe it spooks him for a second. Yeah, I played that well. This blueprint's cool, but it kind of makes it hard to see, to be honest. But whoever built that out's got zero recoil. What is this, a striker nine? Yeah, definitely a striker nine. So the tracers kind of give it like a hard. Yeah, so it's like it's hard to see out of. I don't know how much I like that. It's a bit too far. They can keep shooting my VTOLs down. I'll keep calling them in. See, that gunfight's awkward. That head glitch. Seventy-one. Have I died yet? I don't think I've died yet. But now that I said that, I know I'm gonna die. Yep. How did I call it? How did I call it? That guy's got the one-trick camo. He's probably got more one-trick camos than me. That's the thing is with with me using all the weapons, I almost never get those camos. Hey, he snuck away. I don't know where that guy just went. Eighty-nine. As long as I lock in this hundred bow, I'm mean, honestly at this point none of this is really a choke. Ninety-two. Drilled by a thermite. It's almost like I had a freaking butt. Pl Never mind. I'm gonna stop myself right there.
Yeah, I can't see what I'm shooting at there. Good kill. And I locked in a hundred. We just got to lock in the W now. All in all, that shouldn't be too tall of a task. We're up by just a little bit here. I'm dead. You know this happened because I said I haven't died yet, right? Now all of a sudden I'm all I'm gonna do is die. That's how that works. One kill for another VTOL. Or hit that, hit the VTOL. Win this game. I need to wait for the VTOL before I can push up. Yep. Hundred and twenty six. we we got I mean if we lose and this is just pointless, but I'm feeling good. Feeling like we're locking this W in. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Whoa, I might lag out. I think I did lag out brother. I have 131. If I lag out, this is tragic. Absolutely tragic. Yeah. You, mm. you gotta be kidding. You've gotta be kidding. Okay. I didn't lag out, but it was dang close. Oh, I got another DNA bomb. Okay. That DNA bomb will wipe him out. Hit this, win the game. That was real close to being absolutely tragic. I'm going to use this spot now. Actually, now we're going to win the game before it even matters. Yeah. 141 kills.